It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Ray, and his favorite person is Weird Al Yankovic. Our second player is Beverly, and her favorite place is Trinidad. And our third player is Brian, and his favorite thing is Dil Havarti cheese. Oh, posh. And now, because your applause is the only thing loud enough to drown out her conscience, it's <laughs> Melissa Peterman. Not loud enough, Jamie. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the game where our players need to ask me the right questions to get to the right answers. And I've got three phenomenal players right here today who are battling it out for their shot to win $5,000. <laughs> And once again, back with us, it is our returning champion, Brian, back for his ninth consecutive day. Wow, I mean, he's already got a 401k with us. He's just been wonderful. Okay, Brian, you've got a couple vacation stays, $15,000 in cash and prizes total. All right, well, Brian, we're gonna see if you can keep that streak going or if Beverly and Ray are gonna start a streak of their own. You guys ready to get started? Let's go. Absolutely. All right, in round one, you all can ask me yes or no questions. I'm gonna give you clues and we are gonna play each category, a person, a place and a thing. All right, Brian, you are our returning yeah. champ and you're gonna start off round one. Sounds good. All right, so our first category is our person category. And I can tell you that this person is a band. Is this band still together? Yes. Hello, Beverly, you Hello. are just a vision. In oh, purple. Thank you so and much. And you have my favorite name, Beverly, my Yay. grandma Bev, who I love. Grandma, I love my grandma too. I know, grandma right? Bailey. No, I love it. Hmm. Is this band in the US? No. Hello, Ray. Hello, hello. I too like me some weird Al Yankovic. Big fan. Big I love fan. him. Have you ever met him? I have met him one time. Oh, do you have his phone number? I don't yet. If you can get that for me, that'd be No, huge. I was hoping you would give it to me. That's <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Well, Band. Is this band fronted by a male vocalist? Yes. Good question. All right, get your buzzers out. It is time for your first clue. These people played at the Super Bowl 50 halftime show. Brian. Is it the Rolling Stones? No, it is not. Beverly. Oh, okay. It's not the Rolling Stones. Is it Queen? It is not Queen. It is not Queen. Hmm. I don't have a great guess, so I'm gonna ask, are these um, hip hop artists? No. Okay. Okay, it is time for your next clue, so get your buzzers back out. Their 2000 debut album was titled Parachutes. Ray. Gosh, is it Coldplay? Gosh, oh, it is God. Coldplay! Come on. Great job! You got it. Points and you are on the board. Well done. After. All right, Beverly, it is your yes. turn to start off our category. We are at the place category. And I can tell you, Beverly, mm -hmm. um, and you know, you're a traveling nurse, so you've been all around. This mm -hmm. place is a U.S. state. Is this on the West Coast? No. Does the name of this state begin with a vowel? Yes. Mm. Ryan. Does this state have an NFL team? No. Get your buzzers out. It's time for your first clue. This place shares a border with Canada. Ray. Is this Idaho? Boom, it is Idaho. Ray, you take it again. You have 200 points. And it is your turn to start off our category. And it is the thing category. And I can tell you that this thing is marine life. Marine life. Marine okay. life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Is this marine life a mammal? No. Hmm. Right. Is this type of marine life a plant? No. Marine life. Beverly, marine life. Is it is it, in, is it enclosed like in a zoo or is it? No. no? Mm -mm. Get your buzzers out, it's time for your clue. This thing is something you can visit, but you may have to hold your breath. Ray. Is it a coral reef? Ray, it is a coral reef. Oh my goodness, we have got ourselves a game here. Ray is the only 
only one on the board with 300 points. On, and Rachel. Beverly and Brian, not quite yet, but we got a lot of game to play. So don't go anywhere. Come right back for some more person, place, or thing. Do you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan? Well, use your smartphone to scan the QR code in the corner of your screen, and you're not only going to meet today's super fan Philip, but you're also going to get access to all the behind the scenes fun and bonus content. You can find out what Jamie looks like. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. Once again, the world of accordion music's only groupie, Melissa Peterman. I love it. I love it. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. Ray is the only one on the board. He's got 300 points. Beverly, Brian, not quite yet, but anything could happen. And it is time for round two. Now, round two is the same as the first round, except we double the points, and you get to choose which category you'd like to play. Brian, you're up first. So what category would you like to play? Person, place, or thing? May I have a person, please? Of course you can. And Brian, I can tell you that this person is an actor. Is this actor still alive? Yes. Beverly. Is this actor male? Yes. Right. Does this actor play a superhero? Yes, he has. They all do. They all do. Eventually, <laughs> someone's yeah. going to call on me, and I'm going to be like, the procrastinator! <laughs> <laughs> I'll save the day tomorrow. All right, get your buzzers out. It is time for your first clue. Oh, this person made his film debut in the movie Where the Day Takes You. OK, that didn't help anybody. Ryan. Has this actor won an Academy Award? Yes. Beverly. Mm. Is this actor American? Yes. Mm. Right. Is this actor under the age of 50? No. Okay. And people over 50 still have careers. Oh, okay. yeah. right. love them all. Thank you. Yes, right, here we go. All right, you ready for your next clue? Here we go, everyone got their buzzers. Beverly, get yours ready. He played a genie in the movie Aladdin. Brian. <laughs> ah. uh, Robin Williams. No. Beverly. Oh, no. Is it um, Will Smith? Think it is. Oh, it is Will Smith. I bet it yes. Is. All right. That was awesome. That means, Beverly, you were on the board with 200 points Dang right Lord. behind Ray. Woo, you got drop. it. That means, Beverly, and now it is your turn to start out. What category would you like to play mm, now that I you're on a hot streak? Thing. Thing. All right. Well, I can tell you, Beverly, that this thing is sports equipment. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it a type of ball? No. Mm-mm. Ray. Is it something that you wear? No, mm -mm. but that looked like my bra, just the way you did that. <laughs> just, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> right. Is it something you swing? No. All right, ready for it, your clue. Get your buzzers out. Oh, my buzzer fell. This thing is often seen in gym bags and on office desks. Ray. Mm, is it a, nah, no, I'm wrong. I'm just wrong, I'm just wrong. <laughs> you just wanted to buzz in and tell I, I everybody. I was excited about it. Bing, I'm wrong. But uh, you're right, you're wrong. That means I am at you, Beverly. Hmm. Is it one of those things, the hand, what do you call those, the hand bar things? Is it a hand exerciser? Yeah, like you can hold it. Well, it is not, no, and I know exactly that, yeah. what you're talking yeah. about, because I have zero core strength, but my hand strength is yeah. incredible. <laughs> All right, Brian, it's not one of those, it's not a hand exerciser. Can't swing it, you don't wear it. Is it used for recovery? Can you clarify that a little bit? Oh, I guess like a, maybe like a medicine or something you use for recovery? No. All right, buzzer's out, here we go. <clears throat> An insulated one can keep liquid cold for hours. Beverly. A water bottle? Water bottle! Yeah, that's good. Yes! Beverly, you just took the lead with 400 points. 
Yes, celebrate, Woo! yes. Well done. See, we don't have to go to the gym to Yay. have sports equipment. I have so many pieces of sports equipment in the back seat of my car, I love it. I need to drink water, I was just telling him I needed a water bottle. Do you need a water? We'll get you some water. All right, Ray, it is your turn, last but not least. What category would you like to play? I'd like to go for place. Place, okay. Well, Ray, I can tell you that this place is a landmark. Great. Is this a U.S. landmark? No. Hmm. Ryan. Is this place, is this landmark in Europe? Yes. Heavenly. Can people visit it? Yes, people can visit it. All right, buzzers out, here we go. This place is located in Vatican City. Brian? St. Peter's Basilica? It is not St. Peter's Basilica. All right. Ray? Vatican City. Landmark. Is this... I don't know, is this the Colosseum? It is not the Colosseum. Beverly? What do you think? Is it the... Um, not the Colosseum. I think it's a David statue. No, it is not the David statue, okay. but very good guess. Thank All right, you. buzzers out, here we go. Popes have been elected here. Okay, time is up on that one. And that means I go back to you, Ray. Oh boy. Yeah. Boy, this is uh, so you... it's not my typical bag. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say, is this a outdoor structure. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Mm -mm. Brian. Is it the Vatican Libraries? No, but you reminded me I have a book overdue. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Beverly. Is it a church? Yes. Oh. It is a church. Mm-hmm. All right, ready for your next clue. Here we go. It is famous for its Michelangelo painted ceiling. Ray. Is this the Sistine Chapel? Yes, yes this is. is your bag. You got oh, it. Who knew? Who you knew? are back in the lead. All right, uh, we have got a quite a game. Ray is in the lead with 500 know. points, but Beverly right behind with 400. Our champ not on the board yet, but you know what? <laughs> Things could change because up next is a speed round. Do not go anywhere. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing, the only show that considers Evian sports equipment. Yes. <laughs> we have got a great game going on here. Uh, Ray in the lead with 500 points. Beverly, 400 points. Woo. Our champ, not on the board yet, but Woo. that could change because it is time for our speed round. Get your buzzers the ready. For this one. I'm going to give you a series of clues about a person, place, or thing. Buzz in if you know it, and you'll get yourself 500 points. Everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Here we go. Jamie, stop drinking that water and put 90 seconds on the clock, please. Brought to you by Philips Crochet. Crochet that's only for Philip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, good luck. Here we go. Time starts now. This is person is one of the seven characters that accompany Snow White. Uh, Ray. Is this a dwarf? Uh, yes. Uh, you might guess from his name that he's not the brightest. Brian. Dopey. Yes, Dopey. This place is located in Massachusetts. Barack Obama and Natalie Portman what? both studied there. Beverly. Har um, Harvard? Yes, it is Harvard. This thing is used to clear forests. It is a hand tool with a metal blade. Ray. Is it a chainsaw? No, it is not. Lumberjacks use these to chop wood. The handle is often made. Axe. Brian. What is an axe? Yes, Axe, sorry, he busted. This thing is associated with comfort food. It is primarily made from ground ingredients. This thing shares its name with a famous musician. It is usually mixed, Brian. Bread? No, it is usually mixed by hand before being shaped and baked in an oven. Time's up, it was Meatloaf. This person won an Oscar for The Reader. She starred in the TV series Mayor, Brian. Winslet? 
Yes. Uh, this place claims to sell over 190 million physical books. Ray. Is it Amazon? No. A million books each year. Barnes. You've got mail based Fox Books on this place. Barnes Beverly. and Noble? Yes, it is Barnes and Nobles. This person had several high flying achievements. Her nickname was Lady Lindy. She was the first woman to fly solo nonstop. Ray. Ray, you can answer because it came in on the buzzer. Is it Amelia Earhart? It is Amelia Earhart. Okay, but it still wasn't not enough to catch up Brian. I thought, Beverly, you were uh, hot uh, on it. it. But Brian, you are back as our chance to play again to play our final round. Beverly and Ray. I mean, I'm telling you, I think he was nervous, he was sweating. We had him sweating. We and you were sweating. so wonderful, we love having you here. We're not gonna send you home empty-handed, so Jamie, tell them what they won. The spirit and joy of summertime are perfectly captured in these cotton candy and snow cone machines from Nostalgia. Create cool and refreshing treats with ease using only a few simple ingredients. Nostalgia products are fun for all occasions. Well, congratulations, Brian. You are moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Caesar Slots. Jamie, tell them all about it. Promotional consideration provided by Caesar Slots, an amazing free slots game. Download now for an incredible welcome bonus. All right, stick around to see if Brian is going to do it again. We are going to be right back after this. Where's my water bottle? I need to work out. Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. The La Quinta by Wyndham in Nashville. Music City's newest hotel offers spacious modern accommodations and close to the popular attractions. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of Person, Place, or Thing. Okay, uh, no, this was not yesterday. We're back here again today. I'm standing here with Brian, who's, who's about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Caesar Slots. Jamie, tell them all about it. Promotional consideration provided by Caesar Slots, the legendary free slots game with hundreds of slots and exciting jackpots. It's Vegas in your hands. Scan the QR code to download Caesar Slots and spin the Caesar's way. Thank you, Jamie. All right, uh, I'm gonna tell you how to play, although at this point, it feels like just telling my husband, uh, giving him a shopping list. You're not listening, because you already know it. Here we go. <laughs> You have to get a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can start with any category, but you have to get all three. You can ask me as many yes or no questions as you want, and you can guess as many times as you need. And as always, Brian, I have three clues for you, so make sure that you use them. You can use them any way you want. You ready to do this? I'm ready. Here we go. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. I think he's won enough to afford his own watch. You're right, he should get his own watch. <laughs> mm. But just in case, put it on there anyway. Now, your person is a fictional character. Your place is a US state. Your thing is furniture. Where would you like to start? Hmm. I think I will start with place. With place. All right, here we are. We are starting with place. Good luck. Time starts now. Does the state have an NFL team? Uh, no. Is it on a coast? No. Arkansas, Alabama, no. Mississippi? No, no. New Jersey? No. Uh, Rhode Island? No. Uh, clue? It is known as the Cornhusker State. Nebraska? Yes. Thing, furniture. It's something you sit on? No. Is it something you get at a furniture store? Is it chandelier? No, no. Uh, pass. All right, person, fictional character. Is it human? No. Is it featured in a Disney movie? Yes. Is this an animated Disney movie? No. Uh, clue. He has been played by Lou Ferrigno and Mark Ruffalo. Hall. Yes, you're back to furniture. Lamp. No. Uh, clue. Certain ones have facial openings for comfort. Massage table? Boom, it is a massage table! Oh my gosh! Congratulations, Brian! You just won another $5,000, bringing your total winnings in cash and prizes to over $20,000. Okay, Brian, you said you missed your friend's birthday party to come I here. I did, I did. Shout out to my uh, one of my best friends, Marcus, uh, for his 40th birthday. We're gonna celebrate your bachelor party here soon. I think he can get you a really good gift. And you get to come back once again as our returning champ for another chance to win another $5,000. And congratulations to you, Philip, in Gaithersburg, Maryland. You just won $500. That is a lot of yarn. Goodbye, everybody. This person wants you to come back to this place and do this thing. 
you're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.